All right. Well, look, what looks to be an old Epiphone Electar. If it's one of the newer ones, I'll be uh, surprised. Very Art Deco. Owner says, Amp keeps blowing its fuse. I see a, f a flash in the 5U4 rectifier each time. Put in a new 5U4, a new 4 amp fuse, fired it up, and the same thing happened, so the problem is deeper than the tube. I agree. Let's see what's going on. All right. Epiphone, New York, Zephyr. Let's see what's going on with this thing. We find something to open up that fuse holder real fast. All right. Definitely had a blown 4 amp fuse, putting a new one in place. Then I'm not going to power it on. I don't like throwing fuses, good fuses after bad, but I need to have a fuse in there for test purposes. And this is one of those lovely devices where most of the amps down here. Oh, it got dark, didn't it? Let's fix that. All right, try this again. So it's one of those amps where uh, the control panel is up there, speakers in the middle, and all the big stuff is down here. So let me remove this cabinet. Oh, great. Flathead screws. This will take a minute. Okay, I got a nice old Jensen Alnico. It is a... Uh, I don't see the model on it. The concert series. I'll check the deck code on that as well. But that that can wait. Let me get the chassis out. I see some old caps. More flathead screws. And uh no feet. These screws would just be digging into the floor wherever they are. So I would really recommend to the owner that we install some heavy duty rubber feet on this thing. So if you ever want to play on a hardwood floor, uh, it's easier on the hardwood and it will sound better if you're not vibrating on some metal. Anyway, let me get all these out. All right, looking inside, it's been recapped before. I'm not nuts about that connection. I, I want to put some shrink wrap on that at the very least. But overall, the work is pretty good. But I know what the problem is. This is just dangling around inside the chassis. What this is supposed to be when it's mounted here is a big high wattage variable resistor. It measures 500 ohms. I don't know what the wattage yet. I'll have to f find that out. I imagine it's fairly substantial, but it has broken off its uh, connections. Um, and so it was just kind of flopping around in here. And this part right here could easily touch the chassis or the screw. In fact, it wants to rest against that screw. And this red wire is T taking the, the uh, B plus, the DC, uh, off of the rectifier tube. And normally, when this is mounted correctly, I don't know if it's, I guess it's most mounted this way, or maybe I have to have been this way. It had some tension on it, it might be why it broke. Think of this as a gigantic, very high wattage uh, potentiometer. It's a variable resistor is what it is, which is what a potentiometer is, only instead of having a thin uh, copper trace that you slide a, a thin piece of metal along. It just has exposed winds on this wire wound resistor and this band, which has a little um, uh, divot in it, uh, makes contact and you just slide it around to get the resistance relationship that you want. And I measured it. This one's 230 ohms on this side and 283 ohms on this side. Oh, there broke off. That's fine. It, it was going to have to be redone anyway. Um, so I'm going to slide. I've written down what it was at before. I'm going to slide this down, see if I can get a wattage off this. 
and uh, they have these at DigiKey and some other places for like eight to thirty dollars, depending on the wattage. So that's one of the things I need to know. And uh, I'm not nuts about this part in general because it's yes, it's variable. You can set this. The owner is not going to do that, and I don't think uh, techs will do it very often. And given the, the mass of it and hanging it off to obviously proven fragile connections, I think this might be a case where two modern chassis mount resistors, some aluminum clad resistors, one mounted here and one mounted here or something like that, uh, might be a better choice. That would serve the same function as this, but uh, there'd be uh, better heat, better thermal um, management, and uh, a lot less weight and a lot more structural support. I mean, they're not ever going to fall out. You know, that's granted if there's real estate. Um, there's also the issue is maybe the owner wants it put back the way it was. And I can, I can get another one of these and... Uh, get a new bit of red wire here with a little bit more slack. And, uh, you know, it may be that the, the new one will hold on for the next 70 years.